Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about a possible new format which is not supported by Wizards of Coast called Eternal. So Eternal is a format that some people are saying should replace Legacy. Essentially, it's Legacy without reserve list cards. And it makes a lot of sense to me. Um, it's a little different from Modern because obviously you got your Wasteland, you have your Force of Will, those two being... I think Mana Drain is actually not on the reserve list and some very other strong, strong cards are not on the reserve list. However, um, people are, Wizard Coast will not support this format, so it will have to be like ED8. So it will have to be a format that players are tiny leaders. Tiny leaders, small side, I, I think that was just a money grab. I mean, feels like a money grab to me and I don't know if anyone's playing it anymore. Uh, I know that some of those cards that were played in tiny leaders uh, people did buy them out before and then they did spike and then they sold them out and they made money from it. Uh, otherwise, those cards would have very little, little interest to no interest uh, in play. But anyway, small side. So Eternal, I think, it could be a format. It would have to be like EDH. It would have to be player supported. It's possible. And I think once Eternal Master comes out and more people have these Eternal cards, whatever they are, and Force of Will and Wasteland being two of them, then they will be interested in this format because no one's going to buy, you know, dual land, right? No one's going to be like, oh, I have Force of Will and Wasteland right now, but I'm going to go ahead and buy my 10 dual lands for how much do you think it is? 10, 40 dual lands, let's just say they're 200 apiece, $8,000. Oh, let's say you get a deal, like $6,000 for your dual lands, right? That's kind of like... Uh, uh, hey, I just got these really cool Eternal cards, um, or Legacy cards, and I want to buy these dual lands. Where are your, your dual, like, it just doesn't make sense. Logically, it makes very little sense, uh, what is going on right now, because Eternal Masters will not allow you to play Legacy. It will only make Legacy, as has been proven, more expensive. So it's very, uh, it's perplex, it's, I would never have imagined them doing a Eternal Masters kind of reprint and not making a change on the reserve list. It could be a slight change such as, okay, we're going to make pseudo legendary snow dual lands and your regular dual lands will be just as good, but we're going to make these snow dual lands and we're going to put them in this set and people can get them and they're going to be less, they're going to be less powerful than your original dual land. So you know, people will still want those, but they will be fetchable, they will be playable, and they will just be good. Uh, and especially for the EDH players. I don't know why they didn't do that, but that's not, that's not what it's looking like they did. And they look, it looks like, if anything, through the years, they tightened the reserve list as opposed to loosening it. And they had several opportunities uh, to loosen the reserve list a tiny bit, but instead they tightened it because there was a lot of loopholes. Remember, this reserve list is it's old; it's like 15 plus years old. Uh, and what happened then was the you know it's kind of like a law, um, a legal law, uh, something that was if you imagine something that's 15 or 20 years old back then may not be acceptable in our society today. Uh, and that's how long it's kind of been um, where you you have a ton of legal changes in the field. I'm not going to name all of them, but I mean, just watching the news, you know that um, there's a lot of different uh, things that have happened since then. And the market as well as the society has adjusted. A lot of stuff has happened to Legacy since then, since the reserve list. And it's just not never adjusted. And it's always, in my opinion, gone backwards from where it should have gone. So, uh, legacy, I don't know. Like, I don't know what really to uh, say to you. You, I don't think it's gonna be cheaper. Eternal is legacy without the reserve list cards. That's fascinating. It's not gonna get any support from Wizards of the Coast. It won't get any support from vendors. But if the players want it badly enough, and you go to your locals and everyone has Eternal decks, it could work. Um, I think it could work. It could be the next EDH and eventually EDH will force Wizards of the Coast to print stuff for the format like the EDH Commander decks and that's that. Anyway, bye guys.